Hello everyone. I am currently doing, um, I'm tutoring a uh, CFA level 1 student currently and um, I'm making this video to do a uh, one of the questions in CFA level 1 uh, specifically on fixed income on uh, I believe it's this reading we're going to be doing a uh, floating rate bond um, on how to calculate a discount margin or uh, um, required margin it's the same name so let's go okay so uh, the question says it's a five-year floating rate bond that pays a quarterly coupon uh, on a uh, benchmark of you know LIBOR plus 125 basis points that's the quoted margin uh, the floating rate note is priced at 96 currently and the uh, we're using 30 to uh, 30 360 day count convention okay uh, okay the benchmark is constant okay at 5% and what is the discount margin Okay, so what we need to know is that um, discount margin is what the uh, quoted margin needs to be in order for the note to be at par value. So currently, it says the PV is 96, so obviously the PV is not at 100. We need to make, we need to know what discount margin makes this 96 to be 100. Okay. So, uh, first thing first, it's a 5% uh, plus 1.25%. Uh, That's going to be coupon. Okay, let's make it a little more uh, calculator friendly here. Okay. Yes, I do know it's quarterly, so hold on. So this PMT and I, well, we don't know what the yield to maturity is, okay? That's what we're going to be looking at. And we're going to adjust that yield to maturity to a uh, par. Uh, the yield to maturity that makes the note to be at par value. That's the whole point of discount margin. You know, right here, discount margin, that's the whole point or the required margin, another name for it. Okay, so what are we missing? Oh, the N, okay. So, obviously, all right, so it says it's a quarterly coupon, five year. Quarterly, five year. Okay, so it's five years, but it's quarterly. So it's obviously, it times it by four. And also here, The coupon payment is 6.25% annually, but quarterly, divide by 4. What is R? I mean, what is, yeah, interest? Okay, let's find out. Um, 100 PV, uh, FV, um, 6.25, divided by 4. That's the PMT. 96 put a negative sign here PV and N is 20 calculate IY okay if we do this the IY comes out to be a 1.8024 percent okay this yield to maturity is what makes this bond or this note to be at 96 value present value instead of 100 which is what we want so what we know is that 1.8024 percent okay is five percent because the five percent doesn't change that's the benchmark okay this plus discount margin whatever this this uh, 
rate is okay divided by four because it's you know quarterly or we could just say times everything by four this times by four which is uh seven point two zero seven uh two zero seven nine doesn't matter how you do it if you put the uh divided by four here and then you change this uh, 7.2 to be at 1.80 blah 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 doesn't matter okay so this is just you know okay let's just go with this annual all right so yield to maturity currently okay is at 7.2079 okay this is the yield to maturity that makes the uh, note to be at uh, present value of 96 instead of 100 in order for this to be at 100 the quoted margin right here needs to change obviously the difference is uh, 2.2079 this is the uh, discount margin uh, C obviously that's the answer but let me just go further with some explanation so discount margin is the quoted margin okay Discount margin is LIBOR, uh, the benchmark, it doesn't have to be LIBOR, but usually we use LIBOR. Uh, LIBOR plus quoted margin, okay, this is this is the uh, basic, uh, the structure, this is the structure of a floating rate note. But we want to make this quoted margin a, 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 a uh, spread that makes such uh, such spread that makes the floating rate note to be at par value at 100 okay and what what how can a floating rate note be at par value the the, the future value 100 how can it be at uh, future value how can the present value be uh, in in what circumstance does present value equal to um fb obviously it this happens when coupon is equal to yield to maturity the discount rate right and what do we know right now the right right now what we know is the coupon okay the coupon is currently five point uh, five percent plus one point two five percent that's what we know while the yield to maturity well above it was uh seven point two zero seven nine percent i mean how much does Yeah, so what what we want to know is how much this, this is the quoted margin, right? This is the quoted margin. How much does the uh, quoted margin need to change in order to equal 7.2? So in calculation for the discounted margin, discount margin, this becomes X. So what it becomes is 5 plus X equals 7.2079 this is the whole idea between calculating discount margin